Thank you for staying with me on Crunch Econometrics. We are still on our GACH modeling series. And in this video, we are going to compare estimations from ARCH and GACH and see the justification as to why the GACH model is more parsimonious than the ARCH model. By way of advice, I will also say again, do not skip these videos. Please watch them in sequential order for better understanding. So this is what we plan to do. We want to determine the parsimony of GACH 1-1 model relative to an ARCH 6 model. We estimate both models. We compare the results. We extract their variance series and plot them for visualization. Now back to eViews. Recall the earlier estimates for a GACH 1-1 model as shown on the screen. So now I'm going to extract the variance series. I go to PROC. I click on make GACH variance series. So I have it there. So I just called it GACH variance. I click OK. The next thing to do is to estimate ARCH6 model. So I click on estimate. I modify the equation estimation dialog box. I change 1 for the GACH to 0. And I modify 1 for the ARCH to 6. I click on options. I still have my eViews legacy as the optimization method. I'm not changing anything here. Also under specification, every other thing looks fine. I'm still using the error distribution for the normal Gaussian. My sample size is as indicated and I click OK. So here we have the output for an ARCH6 model. What do you observe? Number one, you will see that all the coefficients for the variance equation, which is our concern here, are all statistically significant at the 1% level. All the coefficients are also positive. We do not have any negative coefficients. So the next thing to do now is to plot uh, the variance of this series. We go to PROC, click on Make GACH Variance Series. So I name this ARCH Variance. I click OK. So this is the conditional variance for the ARCH model. So let's check our work file. So from our work file now, we have arch variance and we have the gauge variance. So we need to plot the two together for visualization. So I click on the arch variance. I press down the control key. I click on the gauge variance. I right click. I open both series as a group. So I have both of them here. This is the arch variance and here's the gauge variance. I click on view. I go to graph. I have line and symbol. I'm not changing that. I click OK. So we can see here that the arch variance and gauge variance uh, series are exactly the same. So what can we take away from here? It simply tells us that the gauge variance will explain as much as the arch variance with just few parameters. So using arch 6 model, it will be better for you to have used a GACH 1-1 model because from what you can see in their plot, the behavior, the explanation, I would say is even stronger from the GACH model. So why do you have to estimate six parameters when that model can be explained with just three parameters? So this gives a clear justification as to the parsimony of the GACH model. So this is what we just estimated. Here we have the results for the ARCH6 model. All six coefficients are significant, all of them positive. And we have our GACH11 model, positive coefficients, and all statistically significant. So here you can clearly see from the plots of the variance of both models, this evidence justifies why the GACH model is superior to the ARCH model. Nevertheless, ARCH modeling is still very much relevant in the analysis of financial time series. We can observe the identical plot of the variance series because the GACH term captures higher orders of the ARCH terms. Therefore, it is better for you to estimate a GACH model instead of higher order ARCH models. So the lesson has come here is that better for you to estimate a GACH 1-1 model than for you to estimate an ARCH6 model. By way of emphasis, video tutorials are insufficient. Please solidify your understanding and knowledge by reading any of this uh, literature as shown on the screen. 
So far, four videos have been covered in the Gatch modeling series. Endeavor to watch them all in the arranged order. Don't go away. My next video will be on how to estimate the Gatch in main models. I want to sincerely thank all my subscribers, all my supporters, all my viewers, for everyone who have watched this video, who has given me their thumbs up, who has shared it, who have sent me messages on my email, on my website, on Facebook, on Twitter. I want to say thank you. I am so grateful and I'm encouraged to bring out more interesting videos that will help students and intermediate level researchers. Support my channel. Subscribe if you have not done so. Subscription is free. It's at no cost. Please share the link with your students and your friends. We can all learn econometrics together. Very simple. Stay with me. Don't go away. I'll be right back.